Days before Halloween, on the corner of 5th Street and 12th Avenue, a crowd of people in colorful and flamboyant costumes await for the next live showing of the Rocky Horror Show at the new Coralville Center for Performing Arts. The renovated arena is used as rental space for the Johnson County citizens, and it took years of planning and construction before finally being completed. It's actually been in conversation for over 10 years. Obviously, in recent years, most of that was actually going through the design process, fundraising, finding the right plot of land, all that good stuff. Um, and then in August of 2011, we finally opened. Dedicated to Coralville Mayor Jim Fawcett, the auditorium contains 472 seats. Its advanced technology and modern style could only be achieved by the support and the donations from Coralville residents. Actually, if you take a look out in the lobby, you'll see a bunch of signage, and it's recognizing that not only have we received enormous support from throughout the community, but it's from all levels. It's from major organizations, big businesses, lots of families, local people. The arena has thus far hosted musicals with large audience turnouts, primarily performed by the City Circle Acting Company of Coralville. In fact, this area has become a new home for the nonprofit organization. They were integral in the creation of this place and the funding of it. Um, so they'll be doing their entire regular season here. I think it's meant for City Circle whenever there's, whenever there's like musical stuff going on. As the seasons change, the City Circle Acting Company will continue to utilize the auditorium to perform other musicals and theatrical productions. But until December holidays arrive, they will continue singing the songs of Rocky Horror. I'm Sarah Petit, reporting for Multimedia Storytelling, Class Section 3. Applebee's, they love to serve us. 